killing me, yay. You are just killing me. I literally just finished uploading my video. Uh, I'm done. Had my script written for today. I recorded my video. I did my editing. Yada, yada, yada. Anthem news. I thought, okay, this will be it. What could possibly hit the fan this late at night? Well, the excrement has hit the turbine, as they say. There are certain things you do not mess with. You do not mess with a man's wife. You do not mess with a man's car. And you do not mess with a man's Star Wars. This may be a bit more rant than news report. I'm just livid because EA has been in a publishing contract with Disney to publish all of their Star Wars games for a decade. And it hasn't gone well. We've had game after game after game of Star Wars games announced, all then canceled. I mean, what have we actually gotten physically in our hands? We've gotten, what, Battlefront and Battlefront 2? Uh, Battlefront, pfft, who cares? Battlefront 2, we all know how that turned out. A giant pile of crap. And now, yet another Star Wars game has been canceled and will be left on the dust heap of history because EA can't get their crap together. I do not know what... The circumstances are yet. I will probably make another video updating this tomorrow when I'm able to get my hands on some first hand account documents. All I know right now is that the open world Star Wars game that was forthcoming from EA is gone. Uh, a while back there was supposed to be a Star Wars game coming from Visceral Entertainment. Uh, Visceral Studios, my bad. Uh, a Uncharted-like Star Wars game led by Amy Henning, the creator, director, creator of the Uncharted games. We were all waiting for it. We were all excited for it. And then EA shut it down. Okay, too bad. Uh, let's see. Star Wars 1313? Shut down. I think that was a Boba Fett game. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember if that was a EA game or not. I'm honestly... Uh, I'm going scriptless on this. Usually I script my videos out, but I'm just, I'm livid right now. Uh, then we've got, honestly, when I first heard the news, I thought it was the Star Wars game from uh, Respawn Entertainment, the guys who made uh, Titanfall, and that pissed me off because we actually have a title for that game. We have actually have some sort of concept that they talked about at E3. This Star Wars open world game, honestly, I had forgotten all about it because we've seen nothing from it. It's just been something that ruminating in EA's uh, corporate filings, them saying, yeah, we're working on it, but we've seen nothing from it. And yes, I get it. This is not a game that was far in development. We have seen no uh, trailer footage. We have seen no official announcement with a title. So maybe we shouldn't be too upset, but I'm upset anyway, because it means that once again, EA has started a project and thrown it away. It means that once again, we have to wait for a new project to be greenlit by the higher ups at EA. And it's going to be years before that happens. And then it's going to be in development for years. This open world game was in development. That means that pre-development, blah, 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 done, yada, 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 yada. They may not have been ready to show it off, but they were working on it. Which means we may have seen it two, three years down the line. Whatever we have to wait for now, it's going to be longer than that. Uh, this EA Disney deal does not expire until 2023, I think. That's a long time. I mean, it's, what, four years? It's not that bad when you think about it, but... It's a long time in the technology market. It's a long time as far as gamers are concerned because we move from year to year pretty fast. I, I may have just contradicted myself there. I don't know. But I make an appeal right now to Disney. Please cancel your deal with EA. Please do something about this because this is not 
the image you want to be projecting. This is not the image that you paid George Lucas, what, $4 billion for? Four, seven, I don't know. Uh, I remember when Battlefront 2 came out and uh, the, you know what, hit the fan then uh, that y'all Disney came down hard on EA because of the bad publicity it was bringing uh, your franchise, especially with a movie looming near. Uh, there may not be another Star Wars film coming out this year, but there's going to be next year and the year after that and the year after that and the year after that. And the longer you are in this deal with EA, the more you are going to be hurt. Let's face it, Last Jedi, not the worst film in the world, but people hated it. Solo, I enjoyed it personally, but fandom did not care for it. It underperformed. Y'all gotta be tired of just breaking even on these movies and not seeing any returns from these games. Battlefront 2 underperformed by what, 8 million copies? There's gotta be a breaking point at somewhere. Electronic Arts is not the guy to handle your uh, deal anymore. Take it away from them. Break the contract. You may have to pay them out some money, but break the contract. Because what you are not receiving is probably less than what you are going to end up having to give up just to get out of this bad deal. T take the publishing rights from EA. Take them somewhere worthwhile. Stay away from Activision, but go to Ubisoft. Go to somewhere else. Or stop it with these long-term publishing deals with just one company. And instead, license out the game. Uh, license it out on a game-by-game -game basis. Uh, uh, throw CD Projekt Red a Star Wars game for them to start working on after Cyberpunk is done. That's going to be coming out in the next year or two. Uh, I'm sure they've already started development or pre-development on uh, a next project, but hey, make a good enough offer, spend a little green, then you can make them prioritize this. I mean, CD Projekt Red is the world's favorite developer. Get in on that ground floor or just go somewhere else, anywhere else. Uh, give us a Stormtrooper game or a, a real Battlefront that's not filled with crappy transactions and take it to Bungie. I don't know. I hear they're not doing anything now. Gotta help. Gotta help us out here, Disney. Because we're hurting. And we can only take so much more from this EA bullcrap. We have not had a good Star Wars game in 10 years now. I mean, uh, early 2000s, we had the uh, Knights of the Old Republic games. We've had the uh, Battlefront, the original Battlefront games. But I can't really think of much. I mean, we did have the uh, Force Unleashed games, and I did enjoy the first one, but the second one was a crap fest. Whatever. We'll just watch as our childhoods are destroyed. This, this is what I grew up on. These are the cassette tapes that I grew up watching Star Wars on. This right here, one of the best films of all time. Please do not let Star Wars Legacy be this ash heap that EA is thrust it upon. So, that's all I got to say tonight. I gotta throw an intro outro on this real fast. No fancy uh, gimmicks, and we'll just throw it out there. Help us out, EA. Help us out, Disney. EA, you can get lost. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.